Hi, I'm Dr. Alvin Almeida. I'm um, the chief orthopedic surgeon at Health City. Um, we have a small department of orthopedics here with the four orthopedic surgeons. I head this uh, department and um, I am a specialist in uh, joint replacement surgeries and sports surgeries as well. So we do minimally invasive surgeries for hip and knee and also for, uh, for shoulders and, and we do ligament reconstructions and, and rotator cuff repairs and also with a background in orthopedics we are largely involved in trauma care as well, uh, broken bones, dislocated joints and these are day to day work for us. At Health City. Yeah. Hello, I'm Dr. Sharath. I'm the head of the Department of Radio Diagnosis here at Health City. I oversee all the imaging services we do here at Health City, including the x rays, the CT scans, the MRI, the ultrasounds, and nuclear medicine, which include radioactivity as well. So I'm also the radiation safety officer here so that I make sure that all the investigations are done under standard radiation protocols and make sure that all the staff and the patients are safe from radiation hazards. Hi. My name is Vinod Kumar. I work as a chief radiology technologist here, about four and a half years now. Actually, my family background, everybody's a medical background, but I choose radiology because, so we keep studying it. We have a lot of advanced modality to study. So when I started my radiography, I finished my radiography, then I trained the CT scan and the MRI, I kind of modalities we tried. So I chose, the radiology to read a lot of things. My bachelor degree, which I did uh, radiography, after that I was trained one and a half year about a CT scan and one year about MRI. It's about, it took about five and a half years to finish my academic uh, courses. So I'm Dr. Jyoti, pathologist and head of the lab services in, at Health City Cayman Island. So here I'll be managing all the departments like biochemistry, hematology, clinical pathology, microbiology and along with the blood bank services. Yeah, actually it's a very fascinating branch to be like to serve uh, among the patients and all. So I was very much interested because during my PG days, during my MBBS days and all, I felt the pathology a very interesting subject and later I opted for the pathology PG. So my name is Vijay Augustine and I am a medical lab technologist. So basically we call it as a clinical laboratory scientist. Initially I studied diploma in medical laboratory technology. That is two and a half years. Then I have done my uh, BSc MLT. That is Bachelor of Science in Medical Laboratory Technology. That another three and a half years. I'm Dr. Dhruva Krishnan. I'm the Chief of Anesthesia and Intensive Care at Health City. When I did my bachelor's and then I had an inclination towards intensive care and then when I was working in my intensive care during my internship post my MBBS, I realized that a lot of this intensive care procedures or handling is done by anesthesiologists and they are probably better qualified to be an intensivist. That's how I picked up an interest in anesthesiology and then I graduated and I picked up anesthesiology as my super special, I mean as my postgraduate degree to be an anesthesiologist. Usually you do your uh, bachelor's degree that is MBBS Masters of Medicine and Surgery that's about five and a half to six years of training. Post your master, bachelor's degree you usually choose to do an anesthesiology postgraduate degree that's usually three to four years of MD in anesthesia and after you're trained in that you can sort of choose your subspecialty whether you want to be a cardiac anesthesiologist or a neuroanesthesiologist or if you want to anesthetize children, you pick up pediatric anesthesiology as your super speciality. Uh, my name is Neelam Singh and I'm head of nursing at Health City here. And uh, uh, my job is to run the nursing administration and see that uh, quality of patient care is provided and also to take care of in-service education where we train the nurses according to the speciality wise, according to our need. and. Um, also on job training we do and then we supervise all the nurses and also we uh, see the patients, uh, the care what they are getting it, whether it is what we expect that they are getting or not. So, so overall taking care of patient quality care and as uh, nurses. 
and once you complete four year of college degree then you have to have an internship for one year and then you get your license and then you can register into whichever country you are in that country license and then once you get the license you can practice at the bedside. I'm Kishore Kanet. I'm a physical therapist at Health City. Uh, I've been working here from the beginning for the last four and a half years and uh, we, we head the physical therapy department, me and Anup. The physical therapist uh, is uh, one of the allied medical professionals. It's also called as physiotherapy. Uh, we use uh, e exercise therapy, electrotherapy and other modalities, man manual therapy to treat or prevent impairments and to promote mobility and function. When I first joined Health City Cayman Islands, um, I was originally hired as a front desk receptionist. The hospital did not have a phlebotomist, so their lab technician was basically juggling, you know, lab, lab medicine and also phlebotomy, which is needle stick, which is subtracting blood from patients. There was a lab manager at the time um, basically stated to me, maybe this is something that you might be interested in. So I just like, you know, you guys need a phlebotomist. Can I go ahead and try for it? And she thought I was joking. And after that day, I basically went online. I looked it up, see what steps I had to take. And, you know, the lab was so heartwarming because they basically guided me through it. They trained me. They, you know, gave me every, all of the, you know, all of the tools that I needed to get there. Mm -hmm. Basically, I had to study lab works, what test codes are for what, what lab works is for what investigations are. So I basically had to know the laboratory, what the laboratory is about and, you know, everything that comes with that. So safety, coding, lab, you know, test names and, you know, just being aware of my surroundings and the new environment. So I did my online courses online, of course. I did my practical hands-on training here. The lab had a big part of training me to be where I am today. This is one of the biggest accomplishments that I have ever made in my whole career, in my lifetime. I cannot be more thankful for the opportunity. For me, it's like I can't stop here. I have to keep going and going and going and, you know, proving to everyone and myself that there's nothing I can't do. But I started at a front desk to a medical field. Like, I would have never in a million years think that I would be here today. When I joined Health City, I started as a houseman. I was in the housekeeping department, taking out the biomedical waste, general waste, um, cleaning, doors, anything required as a houseman. I never wanted to stay in a houseman position. I pushed myself to move up, so, and I was offered a position as a CSSD tech. My duty as a CSSD technician is sterilizing instruments, um, giving them back to end users, having them ready for surgery throughout the whole hospital, anything I have to sterilize for patient use. From an early age, I never really knew what I wanted to do yet, but working here, I then decided this is where I want to be, starting out where I started and moving on to medical side. For this new field, being that I started as a trainee, I came in without any qualifications for this, so I didn't know anything. I then learned, and um, now I did online courses here in the hospital. The plan is to go away off island this year to sit an exam. And once I come back, I'm qualified as an actual CSSD technician. I could work anywhere around in the world, US or UK, wherever. For any Caymanian interested in the healthcare field, I would tell them if it's either to be a doctor, a nurse, a technician, anything, you just go for it and don't make your mind stop you because you have to be in control of your mind. So if you want to be a doctor, go and be a doctor, study for it, do what you have to do. I would say go to school, but if you choose not to, then start out in a hospital like me. And I started from a, a houseman position and just aim and push higher to go where you have to go. And then you could decide if you want to continue studying or if, you, if it's something you really want to do. I feel there's no limits in the healthcare field. I feel because health city is here, a lot of people like me got opportunity to do things like this. They really take on people that have no educational background 
and train them as a trainee, send them off to learn and study for what they want to do. So I feel because of this place, I now know what I want to do.